Okay, it's recording. Okay. Here we are going on the freeway in my new electric Geo. I'm John Loveless, by the way. This is my car I just finished a couple weeks ago. Um, here we're cruising along at about 55 miles an hour. And uh, here we're looking at the current meter, the state of charge meter of the battery pack. Uh, we're going, it's about 87% left on the battery pack. We've been going about 5 or 10 miles or so. Uh, we're only pulling about 121 amps, and my battery voltage is 72 volt pack. Uh, this is the first time I've tried some aero mods on this vehicle. Uh, I put one piece of plastic in the center of the car, under, on the underneath side, and that's what we've got right now. I also have a piece on the on the front, kind of a grill block, blocking the grill entrance of the, the vehicle. So those two pieces of plastic is all I have on for aero mods at this point. And usually, when I'm going this fast, I'm pulling about 140 amps. And right now we're only about 125. Well, now it's going up because we're going up the hill, 137, 140. In a minute here, it'll actually drop back down to about the 110 amp range. But, uh, so far, so good. Um, also, I've got a passenger here. Uh, Tristan is helping out. We're just taking him to the airport. So we figure let's take this opportunity and make this documentation here. So uh, I count before I calculated the range was about 50 miles reliably. There was some extra drag. I want to have that range be at least 70 miles. I think I think with the amount of current we're drawing right now, I'll be in the high 60s, maybe even 70 mile range. So I might reach my goal just the way it is here. I'm only getting started, so, uh, so far so good. Okay, since been to the airport and back again, and I also ran some errands, picked up some bags of rock salt, and a whole bunch of big stuff in the back, carrying a lot of weight, but believe it or not, my battery, I have gone 75, 79 miles, if you can believe that. I can't believe it myself. In fact, I'm kind of nervous because my state of charge meter pessimistically says I'm completely out. But I still have a good amount of, of uh, energy in my pack. So I'm kind of curious how far I can take it. So, uh, so I'm just going to do some little tests here. I just want to show you some acceleration tests. Um, I'm, I've got it in third gear, and I'm just going to you know, just kind of punch it on an on a almost dead battery, but we're going to just see what we can do in third gear. Ready? Oh, it's really dead, I can tell already. Okay, well, so here's third gear, we're coming up. Here's 25. Low voltage alarm on this guy. How many amps are going? I saw 200 amps per second there. Anyway, um, it gets up and does just fine in third gear. In fact, I go all around town in third gear, and if I want to get on the freeway, I'll then drop into fourth shifts really easy, even when I, I don't have a clutch in this car, but I just drop it into the next gear, just the synchros take care of everything for you, just falls in, really slick. So anyway, we're making a nice clip here, going about 35, um, let's see, we're at 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, actually that's about 75 miles is what that is right now, we're just hitting 75. Part of this is helped, is helped by some aero mods I did. I put some plastic on the undercarriage, and I can only put one sheet of plastic in the middle of the car, and it's kind of rattling around. I gotta secure it better, or put the rest of the pieces up. Anyway, I just am very elated at the, how well this car is doing. It's just doing absolutely awesome. Very pleased with it. 75 plus miles. Taking, taking two people to the airport, uh, me coming back, and then buying a bunch of heavy stuff. And I've been hauling that around the last 25 miles, so uh, very pleased. Maybe I can do 100 miles if I finish all my aero mods. That would be nice. Anyway, that is all for now. Well, we made it back home from a 76-mile all-freeway journey. Almost all of it was freeway, going 55 miles an hour on average. And I thought I should video this car. I don't think I've done a video of it complete yet. Um, 
So I just wanted to show you inside here the inner workings of everything. So here we have a big old battery pack of lithium cells, lithium batteries. There is ten there. And I've got a little section here where there's ten of these. I'm just feeling them. There, that one's running absolutely room temperature or lower. These ones are a tiny bit warmer, maybe 75 degrees. Here's the battery charger, uh, Elcon charger. Here's the controller, just a 400 amp all track 72 volt controller. The motor is underneath here, just a little bitty. Uh, you can't see it from this angle, but it is just hot right now. I kind of drove it a little too hard on that last stretch there. Um, let's look underneath here for a second though. Here's the aero mod that I did. It's just just a sheet of plastic. Four feet by five feet three inches and I just screwed it on there along the whole frame the whole uh, midsection of the car. And I'm just gonna show you the motor here. There, can you see that? Just a little tiny, literally the size of a gallon of milk, that motor. And uh just just a little bitty. But a geo isn't that big of a car. And if you're maintaining freeway speed, you only need eight or ten horsepower, something like that. And it actually does pretty decent accelerating up to about forty miles an hour. From forty to sixty it's a little sluggish, but yeah, I'm patient. So um let's check out here the inside. I've got the BMS going on here. And darn this this focus is not doing but I'm I'm pretty much a dead battery right now. I've taken it 76 miles on the dot according to this odometer here and this odometer is actually a little off so I've gone a little bit further than 76 miles I haven't mapped it out but I know this thing is off by a couple of miles uh, over long distances um, it errs on the side of not enough miles so I've actually gone farther than 76 but for the record 76 um, oh the other batteries I have eight more cells hidden in plain sight underneath the back seat. Just look this up here. You can kind of see them under there. There's four here, and that's kind of dark. But four, four over there. And I've just got them here. I'm just filling these. Oh, they're they're about I would say about 80 degrees Fahrenheit after 76 mile journey. Um. Yeah, hello. That's about it. Awesome, huh? And I am just very happy with this car. Uh, my my pickup truck, the most I could ever take it, I ever did take it, was 67 miles. And only 46 of those were freeway. And the last 21 miles were city and crawling along residential streets for the last, like, 15 miles. Um, Oh, and by the way, the 76 miles was all with a lot of extra weight. Here's 120 pounds of salt. I took that on the last 25 miles of this journey. Uh, I had this big plastic tube in there too. And on the way there, uh, the first part of the journey I was carrying another passenger with a bunch of luggage. So that 76 miles is very realistic for two people in the Geo. Um, and I attribute this range to aero mods, just the initial bit of aero mods. By the way, I do have another one here. I just put on a little grill block. Grill blocks are surprisingly amazing. They really do make a lot of difference. I'm very, very, very pleased with grill blocks, how well they perform. So anyway, that's it. Enjoy the movie.